Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to add a general tolerance table like this one in Inventor. Unfortunately, there's not a one button to press or anything. What we have to do is we have to use a table like this. So we're in the Annotate tab. We want to do, I'm going to do two columns and five rows. You can do this kind of any way you want. I'm just going to place it. I'm going to double click or right click. First thing I can do, I guess, is I can go to Edit Table Style, right click, Edit Table Style. And then I'm going to change the name of the table. I'm going to type in this general statement, turn the caps lock on. This is at the top of a lot of their tables, unless or otherwise specified dimensions in inches. And then I am going to click save and close. I'm going to stretch this just so it fits better. And then I'm going to double click on it again. And then on column one, I right click and say format column. This one I'm going to say tolerances. And in column two, I'm going to leave it blank, which means I have to hit the space bar. I can't actually have it empty. And then you can just click here, and you can't see the cursor, but you're able to type. Angles. I'm just going to make up numbers here. Plus or minus 0 0.5. We assume degrees. I um, guess I could type degrees. And then for other decimals, Again, these are just made up. If it's one decimal, x point x, we're going to do plus or minus 0 0.20, x point xx, plus or minus 0 0.10, x point xxx, plus or minus. 0 0.005. Screwed that up already. These should have a 0 in front. Hope you caught that. And then hit OK. Kind of with the, oops, punch the microphone. Like a colon here. And then what would also make this look better besides snapping it to the corner would be to get rid of the borders because of the way I formatted it. So line color, something you're using our Gohawk title block, which should be white. Um, we should be able to pick white. I hope that works. And that works for everything but the outline. It's because that's what we had selected. Um, so I'm just click this button and select white again. Not that it looked bad before. Now it's kind of overlapping a little bit. Drag it out a little bit. And that's how we do that.